we will be using those paintings you just made to make sketchbooks that you will use throughout the school year. So look through your paintings that you made. Some of you uh, may have more than others. And then I want you to decide which painting you want to be for your front cover and your back cover for your sketchbook. And then set the other ones aside. So we're going to start with the back cover first. And the back cover out of those two pieces of cardboard will be the longer one. You'll notice the cardboard is different sizes. So use the longer cardboard. And then um, flip your painting over so your name side is up. We want to add just a thin line of glue about half an edge from the edge of the cardboard. And then put, uh, press that down into the middle of your painting. We do need to practice some patience <laughs> when we do this project because it takes some time for that glue to grab onto the paper. We call it grab time. Okay, so pull out the painting you want for the front cover, and this should be the shorter of the two cardboard pieces. Again, just a um, smaller rectangle of glue. We don't want it too close to the edge because then the glue could seep out. And then hold it down firmly for about 30 to 45 seconds. It does take a while, so take your time. All right, and then let's go back to um, one of your covers. And you're going to need a ruler. If we try to glue down the edges, you're going to have this like part of the corner that doesn't fit together. So if you put the ruler right next to the edge of the corner of that cardboard and then draw a line onto your paper, you're making a triangle next to each of those corners. And then take a scissor and cut those off. Those pieces can be recycled. And then you're going to take your fingernails and crease the edges of your paper. Now you'll notice, now that we've cut off that triangle, your corners are going to fit together much more nicely than they were before. All right, we need to glue these down. So again, leave a little space so it's not right next to the edge. Otherwise it will seep out and get all over your fingers. I like to do two edges at a time. That way I can hold them with both hands for a while. And then don't lift your hands up until they are stuck down really good. The glue might not be dry yet, but if you lift your hands up too early, those, um, those edges will want to curl up. So practice your patience. <laughs> it does take a while um, to do this. So once you have finished one cover, go ahead and set that one aside. And then just a quick recap for the other one. Take a ruler, line it up on each corner, and draw a line with your pencil. Cut those triangles off. Recycle those, and then use your fingernails to crease down all of the edges. Go ahead and glue each one, two at a time. Give it some grab time so that they don't curl up. All right, next I told you to choose a scrapbook piece of paper and you're going to line up your cardboard for the front or back cover and press it so it hangs off about half an inch from the edge of that paper. You're going to do the same thing with your other cover. Press it off of the edge so it's hanging off about half an inch and then trace it onto the white side of the scrapbook paper and cut those out. Whatever you have left from that scrapbook paper, you can either keep for a bookmark, I don't know, 
or recycle it, it's up to you. The reason we had it hang off is so that it's just a little bit smaller than your sketchbook covers and then we're going to glue that on and this, this will hide that extra cardboard that was still showing. Again, give it some grab time, hold it down firmly and then you can do your other one. Now we always leave some space between the edge of our paper and our glue Otherwise, when you're holding it down, the glue likes to seep out the edge and just make a mess everywhere. Okay. Now that you are done with the scratchbook paper, use a Sharpie and I need you to write your name on the inside of both covers. That way we know um, that it's yours. Now, you may have been wondering why one side is shorter than the other. Well, we have to add on a tiny piece of cardboard so that our sketchbook will be able to open and close. So using your shorter of the two sketchbook covers, this one will be the front cover, you should have already chosen a color of duct tape. Go ahead and um, get a length of duct tape so that you've got about two inches longer on either side of that small piece of cardboard and then stick your cardboard down so it's right next to the edge of the middle of that duct tape. Decide which end you want to cover up on your front cover and put it right next to that tiny piece of cardboard and then fold the extra duct tape around it so now you'll be able to actually open and close your sketchbook. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you how to do the binding on one side of your sketchbook so that you can open and close it and your papers won't fall out. So first, um, you should have a packet of papers and I told you what order to put them in. So um, kind of look for which is your front and which should be the left side of your stack of papers. Get them lined up and then on your sketchbook take your back side, line it up, and then your front on top. Now we want all of those papers to go along this side, so make sure you tap so all of those papers are flush right up against this side. When everything is good to go, take a couple of binder clips and put them down on this side. You need to keep this side clear so that they won't move. They will stay in place until we are done. All right, now we're going to do five holes across, but if you feel more comfortable taking a Sharpie, you can mark out One, one in the middle, and then two on each side, if you would prefer. All right. So next is the fun part. We're going to be using a drill. So what you need to do is hold your drill right on top of where the hole is. And press firmly down, but don't press too hard. If you press too lightly, it's going to skitter across your, your uh, duct tape. So holding firmly, keep my hand out of the way. Press on, pull it straight back up. So you'll see that hole went all the way through. Backside. 
do the same thing for your other holes. Press down. Keep it on while you pull it back up. extra off. Now don't take these binder clips off because then all of your papers will get lost. So next I need you to choose a color of yarn and get about an arm spans width. And then cut that are using some yarn needles. I would use the metal ones because these ones will not go through your holes. So use the metal ones. And then it's kind of tricky to get this to go through the eye of the needle. I make a bit of a loop, pinch it between my thumb and forefinger, and then press it through. Don't tie it on to the needle, just leave an end like this. And then I'm going to start from one side through the back and pull that, pull it all the way until you've got some left over. All right. Since I started from the back side, I'm going to pull it over and go through the next hole, pull it all the way until it is tight across. And that way you still won't lose your end on the back side. So since I went through the back every time, I'm going to go through the back all the way up to the top. And then after I've done the top one, I can come back down or I can go through the top one again and start making my way back down to the bottom. So you can see how it crossed over right here. <laughs> and then finish at the very bottom. Okay, got some extra yarn. I can take this off, put the yarn needle back. So now you can see it's crisscrossed and then I've got my two ends at the very bottom, which you can then tie together. Double knot it. Or triple knot it. I know some people like to leave an end so it looks like um, a bookmark. So with this extra yarn, if you want to leave it like that, you can. If you want to make a bow, you can do that too. Just make sure you leave a little bit before you cut any extra off. That way, if it does come undone, we can retie it. So now, that you have put your string, you can take these off. All right, and it's all good. So if you open it up, your papers should be in here. I've got it upside down and they won't fall out. All right, have fun. <laughs>